Ryanair, the king of controversy. Whether it be charging 50 euros for not printing your boarding pass or considering charging customers just for using the toilet. While Ryanair is normally the cause of controversy, it is rarely at the receiving end of it. That all changed on 23 May 2021, when flight 4978 was involved in a state-sponsored hijacking in Eastern Europe. So what happened on this fateful day, and why was Ryanair targeted? Let's find out. Now for more aviation content like this, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. As a fellow av geek watching this video, you'll know that flying is one of the safest forms of transport around. You're more likely to die being struck by lightning. Despite this, air travel gets a bad rap for high profile incidents such as this. There's been no shortage of drama over the years. On the 23rd of May, 2021, at 9.29am, a Ryanair 737-800 departed Athens for Vilnius in Lithuania, carrying six crew and 126 passengers. The route was to take the aircraft over Bulgaria, then Romania, Ukraine, Belarus, before finally arriving in Latvia. A very standard route for Ryanair, nothing out of the ordinary, or so it seemed. About two hours into the flight, the cockpit was suddenly contacted by Belarusian air traffic control. It was Minsk airport who had allegedly received an email from none other than Palestinian militant group Hamas stating, we Hamas soldiers demand that Israel cease fire in the Gaza Strip. We demand that the European Union abandon its support for Israel in this war. We know that the participants of the Delphi Economic Forum are returning home on May 23 via flight FR4978. A bomb was planted onto this aircraft. If you do not meet our demands, the bomb will explode on May 23rd over Vilnius. Allahu Akbar. According to Ryanair pilots, they were told to land in Minsk as a matter of urgency. The pilots tried to seek advice from Ryanair directly to properly suss out the situation, but they were lied to by Belarusian air traffic control who told them that Ryanair was ghosting their calls. With no other recourse, the Ryanair pilots took the advice given and made their descent into Minsk. It would later turn out that Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko personally ordered that the flight be redirected to Minsk and even asked the Belarusian Air Force to escort the plane. There was no fighter jet in the end and the plane landed on its own. After a relieved passenger and crew landed, unsure what was to happen next, both Ryanair and Belarusian law enforcement looked for bombs in the cargo hold. As you can tell by now, the supposed email received was very suspicious. Indeed, it would make sense that Hamas had much more pressing matters in their homeland to worry about a random Ryanair flight in Eastern Europe. To the surprise of nobody, no bombs were found on board. So no bombs on board. So what's your beef with Ryanair, Belarus? I mean, I know people aren't the most fond of Ryanair, but this is a bit far. Once the plane had landed, it was clear what the intentions of the Belarusian government were. This was personal. Belarusian opposition activist Roman Protasevich was removed from the aircraft and immediately arrested. His girlfriend, Sofia Sapega, a Russian citizen, was also removed and detained. Belarus had placed Protasevich on a list of, I quote, individuals involved in terrorist activity in the previous year for his role in anti-government protests. Protasevich had good reason to think that he was in trouble. He noticed that he was under surveillance at Athens airport. 
He said that a man in the line next to him tried to take photos of his travel documents, perhaps a spy of some sort. The diversion to Minsk came as no surprise to him. Knowing that he'd be a target, he'd asked the Ryanair crew to help him hide somewhere in the plane, but they'd refused as they were not legally allowed to. It was reported that he told one of his fellow passengers that the death penalty awaits me here. For probably the first time ever, Ryanair was the less controversial party in a particular issue involving them. This was a case of state-sponsored, it was a state-sponsored hijack, it was state-sponsored piracy. I think it was very frightening for the crew, for the passengers. And, and I think you'll all agree that this was a brazen and shocking act which shook the international community. Make no mistake, interfering with a civilian aircraft for political gain is not only frowned upon, it is downright illegal under international law. Understandably, the international community was outraged by this incident and were keen to show Belarus that this was not acceptable. Economic sanctions were imposed which crippled the Belarusian economy. The US, EU, UK and Canada issued a joint statement on the 21st of June against members and supporters of the Belarusian government, as well as Belarusian state-owned companies. This included individual travel bans, asset freezes and other sanctions. This was bad, but worse was yet to come. The EU wasted no time and swiftly acted to ban all Belarusian airlines from EU airspace while simultaneously banning their own airlines from flying over the country to prevent such a situation from ever happening again. All trust was now lost. Ryanair CEO Michael O'Leary welcomed the airspace bans and added that there was a high likelihood that the Belarusian KGB agents were involved, just like Protasevich suspected. It was not just European airlines, but several Asian airlines on their routes to Europe, including Singapore Airlines, rerouted their routes away from Belarus, citing safety concerns. Belarus essentially became a ghost town of aviation. The entire aviation industry in Belarus was turned upside down, all due to the whims of their vengeful dictator. With Belarus being a key ally of Russia in the current war against Ukraine, these sanctions and airspace bans won't be gone anytime soon. What do you think about this shocking incident? What can be done in the future to ensure that this doesn't happen again in any country? Leave a like and comment below. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, keep flying high.